As demand for potable water grows and energy costs increase, the energy-efficient and scalable design of the seawater reverse osmosis process makes it the preferred desalination method in arid regions around the world. By bringing together industry-leading pumps, seals, valves and energy recovery devices, as well as unmatched material expertise and application knowledge, FlowServe is the premier provider of complete integrated flow control solutions for the global SWRO desalination industry. Having equipped desalination plants for more than half a century, FlowServe understands that energy is the largest operating cost in any RO facility and that energy recovery devices like the Calder Dual Work Exchange Energy Recovery System or DWIR are critical to making the process cost-effective. The DWIR is one of the most efficient energy recovery systems developed to date and is installed in many of the world's largest RO plants including ones in Aguila, Spain Ashkelon, Israel Gold Coast, Australia Palm Jumeirah, Dubai and Tuas, Singapore. Able to recover up to 98% of the energy in the brine stream, the DWIR can have a substantial impact on the plant's operating costs. And with its operational flexibility, robust design, high availability and extremely low maintenance costs, it will add value to RO plants for decades. The DWIR is an isobaric device and features a very simple design. A single unit basically consists of two pressure vessels, four check valves and one patented Lynx control valve. The purpose of a DWIR system is simple too. It conserves energy by using the high pressure brine stream to pressurize the feed water stream. But how exactly does it do that? Before looking at the process in motion, let's establish some basics. Low pressure seawater from pre-treatment enters the DWIR through these check valves and once pressurized, exits the unit through these check valves. Meanwhile, high pressure brine enters the DWIR through the middle port of the Lynx valve and is expelled as low pressure brine through the top or bottom port. Now let's look at the process in motion. High pressure brine from the membranes enters the Lynx valve and is directed by its piston into vessel 1 which is already filled with low pressure seawater. In the vessel the pressure of the brine is transferred to the seawater which then exits the DWIR through a check valve. From there, the seawater is routed to the high-pressure membrane feed stream via a booster pump. Simultaneously, low-pressure seawater is introduced into vessel 2, which contains low-pressure brine. As the seawater fills the vessel, the low-pressure brine is discharged through the Lynx valve. At this point, the Lynx valve actuates and the process repeats itself, but in the opposite vessels. Now, as high-pressure brine enters the Lynx valve, it is directed into vessel 2, where it pressurizes the seawater introduced during the previous half-cycle. At the same time, in vessel 1, low-pressure seawater displaces the low-pressure brine to discharge, and the cycle repeats. A complete cycle takes about 12 seconds. At this rate, a single unit can process up to 350 cubic meters per hour or 1.4 million gallons per day. To achieve greater volumes, multiple units are placed in parallel. With energy recovery systems, maximizing efficiency is critical. Able to recover up to 98% of the energy in the brine stream, the DWIR is an extremely efficient machine. By their nature, isobaric energy recovery devices are highly efficient 
but like all machines, they're subject to system losses that degrade performance. For isobaric devices, those system losses are mixing, leakage, overflush, and differential head. The key to the Dweer's excellent performance is its extremely low mixing and leakage rates. Mixing refers to contamination of the seawater by the brine stream prior to the seawater entering the membranes. Because the required membrane feed pressure increases with salinity, the consequence of a high mixing rate is greater power consumption by the high pressure feed pumps. For a plant with a permeate flow rate of 190,000 cubic meters per day and a conversion factor of 45%, Every 1% mixing over an isobaric ERD results in an additional 50,900 US dollars, assuming 9 cents per kilowatt. The typical mixing rate over a Dweer is quite low, less than 2.5% by volume, which results in slightly more than 1% mixing rate at the membrane inlet. The Dweer's leakage rate is also very low less than 0.4% of the incoming high-pressure brine flow. Sometimes called lubrication flow, leakage refers to the direct discharge of high-pressure brine. The net effect of lubrication flow is a reduction in the amount of high-pressure brine from which energy can be extracted. To compensate, the high-pressure feed pump must produce higher flow, consuming additional power to do so. Using the same example of 190,000 cubic meters per day and 9 cents per kilowatt, every 1% leakage over an isobaric ERD adds about 172,000 US dollars to the operating cost of the plant. With its low mixing and leakage rates, the Dweer provides plant owners and operators high recovery rates while minimizing operating costs. Able to tolerate significant fluctuations in both system flow and pressure without performance degradation or equipment damage, the Dweer offers operational flexibility which translates into extremely high availability. The Dweer is self-adjusting, however, so it can easily handle flows as low as 200 cubic meters per hour without vibration or pulsation, simply by modulating its operating speed. And because the Dweer has an essentially flat operating curve over the typical RO operating range, efficiency losses associated with the changing conditions are minimal. The Dweer's incredible adaptability and reliable performance permit smooth transitions in flow during startup and shutdown and enable plants to easily adjust output to meet normal fluctuations in demand. A Dweer system also provides several benefits in regard to the layout, design and operating environment of the reverse osmosis plant. First, the Dweer uses a basic header design, which simplifies engineering and construction. Second, the operation of the Dweer is not affected by its orientation or its location relative to the membranes. It can be configured in a train or a center design, a side, or beneath the membranes. This versatility means the footprint of the ERD and the associated piping runs are easily optimized to suit the design and size of the plant. Third, the Dweer is extremely tolerant of foreign objects. It can pass objects up to 50 microns, so special flushing procedures and costly strainers and filtration systems are not needed. Finally, the Dweer is a quiet machine. Because of its slow operating speed, about 5 cycles per minute, it generates less than 83 decibels during operation. This is below the OSHA and EN threshold of 85 decibels, so noise abatement measures such as noise hoods are not needed. Together, these factors, the installation versatility, Simple header requirements and lack of equipment such as noise enclosures, strainers and filters greatly simplify plant construction. As a result, construction costs and times are kept low.
The exceptional engineering and robust construction of the Duir ensures high availability and low maintenance costs for decades. A Duir system is designed to provide a service life exceeding 25 years. Its slow operating speed, few moving parts and outstanding materials of construction are critical to its longevity and reliable performance. Materials of construction are primarily chosen for their superior corrosion resistance. The pressure vessels, Lynx valve and check valves are made of super duplex stainless steels to prevent chloride-induced forms of corrosion. If preferred, pressure vessels can also be provided in fiber-reinforced plastic. Due to its exceptional engineering, the Duir requires very little maintenance to continue operating at peak performance. Wear is limited to a few inexpensive and easily replaceable parts by design and all tasks can be performed in the field with standard tools. As a result, annual maintenance costs are exceptionally low, approximately 1% of the capital investment. Due to the critical nature of these units, FlowServe offers service contracts that keep maintenance costs under control and even guarantee minimum efficiencies for key equipment, including the Duir. These contracts can be designed to suit specific needs and may include availability or power consumption guarantees as well. As with any capital investment, the total cost of an energy recovery device is more than just the purchase price of the unit. The true total cost consists of the capital cost, the operating costs and the maintenance costs. The capital cost is the initial purchase price of the equipment. As this is the most visible aspect of the bid process, it's easy to make a quick decision based solely on it. But doing so would mean ignoring the potentially significant impact of the operating and maintenance costs. The operating cost of a unit includes two components, the labor cost of normal system supervision and the energy cost to operate the unit. For an ERD in an RO plant, energy is the greater concern by far and is heavily dependent on the efficiency of the system. To minimize energy costs, the efficiency of the system must be maximized. For the purposes of determining the total cost of ownership, energy costs must be calculated from published efficiency figures and the system loss rates. As previously mentioned, every 1% mixing over an isobaric recovery device adds 50,900 US dollars and every 1% of leakage adds 172,000 US dollars. So, even seemingly small differences in mixing and leakage rates among ERDs can amount to a substantial increase in operating costs, particularly when carried over 25 years. The maintenance cost of an ERD includes both parts and labor and can vary widely by model. Due to the slow operating speed of the Duir, its annual maintenance costs are exceptionally low, approximately 1% of the capital cost. When the capital cost, the operating costs and the maintenance costs are considered, it is clear that the true total cost of ownership of the Duir is amongst the lowest in the industry. The Duir offers RO plant owners and operators exceptional efficiency while keeping costs low. Its unmatched operational flexibility, specifically its wide operating range and its tolerance of foreign objects, translates into extremely high availability and enables plants to easily meet fluctuating market demand. Its installation versatility, basic header requirements, and lack of extra equipment such as noise enclosures, strainers and filters greatly simplify plant construction. And due to its exceptional engineering, wear is limited to a few inexpensive and easily replaceable parts, so maintenance costs are kept low. When all these factors are considered, the choice is clear. The Duir provides outstanding performance and low total cost of ownership. To learn more about the Duir and read case studies and testimonials from satisfied end users, visit www.flowserve.com.
You can also find information about FlowServe's other products for reverse osmosis desalination there.